everyone, True here. Today I'm going to show you how to color the flower pot bunny that I illustrated for Clear Dollar Stamps with um, Prismacolor pencils and Gamsol. Um, it's going to look something like this. Nice image for this time of year. Um, I've already stamped my image with Memento ink. And to save time because of the limitations on video length, I have already colored in the base colors. Um, the flower pot is based with PC939 Peach. The leaves and grass are PC1005. And the flowers are PC1008. I just lightly colored those in. Um, we'll start with the flower pot. The next color to get the shading that we'll put in is PC918, and it is orange. I'm working upside down, so I have to rethink where my shadows are. Um, I'll have my imaginary light source coming from the upper right-hand side, as usual, so I know the darker values will be over on um, the lower left side. Actually, right now, since I'm looking at it upside down, it's the upper right, but you know what I mean. Um, with the orange, we'll probably we'll pull it over about that far. You want to leave this area for highlight. You want to go under the lip of the flower pot because we know there'll be shadow there. And under the bunny and leaves. Okay, the next shade we're going to use is PC922 Poppy Red. And we're going to take it over about halfway. You see the values are getting progressively darker. Our next color is going to be PC943 Burnt Ochre. And as I get closer to the edge, I'm putting a little bit more pressure because color on color takes more pressure for it to transfer onto the paper. Now that that's in, I'm going to use PC937 Tuscan Red. See, I took it a step over again. I'm not um, paying real close attention to how evenly I put the color in because I like my pots, um, my terracotta pots a little textured anyhow, so the squiggly lines will help pull some texture into it. The Gamsol will do a smooth a lot of it out, but um, I want some texture. And then the final pot color is dark brown PC946. Just kind of hitting the edge with this one. Okay, then the shading on the leaves, I'm going to use um, PC911 Olive Green. Again, you go um, the bottom half and over on uh, the shadow side. 
we'll give the bottom part, the top part of the graph, a little more color for definition. go heavier over here because that's where the shadow of the pot would be. And then you come in on th these leaves. Shading on the flower is um, PC932 Violet, and just hit, again, little areas just for some light and dark definition. Okay, now we're going to move on to the gamsol part. And I just have a little makeup, a foam makeup pad that I pour it into. And um, I'm using just um, paper stubs for my blending. You want to make sure and use a different stub for each color or you're going to have your colors all mixed up. We're going to start with the orange first, and what you do is stick your uh, blender into the gamsol until you see it getting moist, and that loads it up. And when your stump runs dry, just stick it down in the gamsol again and reload it. And I'm going to start over here in the lighter area, just kind of doing little circles, pulling it around. And what the Gansol does is melt the um, wax in the colored pencil. This is kind of the magic part, my favorite part. Okay, now I'm going to switch to green. We'll start down here with the grass. And just catch the very edge of it so, I, so we can um, kind of feather the color out. Hit the leaves. Again, I'm kind of doing the light area first. Okay, now we'll do the flowers. The little fine tip stumps are really nice for little details like this. I started a color in my flower centers and then the phone rang and I stopped the tape so I've got one colored in <laughs> and I'll go back um, now 
and color the rest of them. Um, number PC916, Canary Yellow. And it's so small, I'm not going to worry about uh, melting that in with a Gamsol. Okay, now for the bunny, I'm using um, PC1069. It's French gray, 20%. And he's going to be mostly white, so I'm just going to go in the areas of the shading. Shadow. Get his nose a little bit too, so the pink won't be so harsh when I put that in. And a little up here to give him some a little bit of color in his face. I'm just pushing very lightly. And then the darker value of the bunny's fur is um, PC1074 French Gray 70%. And I just noticed I forgot a foot there. Just going to go right on the very edge of, with this color. I picked up a clean stump because it is white and it will show any other color. You don't want to pull it all the way over on the bunny. Remember he's white. This is just a little shading. So do little circles to pull it out a little ways. Make sure not to touch the flowers. In all actuality I should have done the bunny first because he's the lighter color. That way I wouldn't accidentally pull things, but I'll just be careful. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to go in closer and pull some of that darker out. Okay, for his ear, I'm using PC929 Pink. I'm just hit it a little bit. And his nose. And there you have it. I will turn this into a card and take a picture and be back to show you what I've created. Thank you so much for taking a peek. Happy crafting!